everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are all doing well. Am I finally saying happy Monday instead of happy Tuesday because I'm finally recording on a Monday. I am so happy to be back again this week with my mindfulness tip of the week. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, for myself, um, we have a three-day weekend here in Ontario, um, which is great. So it's an extra day where you can spend time with your family and loved ones. Um, so I'm very appreciative um, for the extra day. Um, and that's probably why I'm recording on the weekend too, because I actually have time um, to make a proper video this weekend. I also want to say for those of you who are celebrating Chinese New Year, happy Chinese New Year to you all. Um, happy Year of the Ox and may it bring you health, uh, wealth um, and happiness um, for all of you. So happy New Year to those who are celebrating. Um, so my mindfulness card um, of the week this week is gratitude at the end of the day. So as usual, here's a close up of the card. Um, I'll just do a quick reading of it. Um, at the end of the day, write a list of at least five things that happened during the day that you're grateful for. At the end of the week, read it out loud to a friend, partner, or mindfulness companion. I am a big believer um, in gratitude. Um, I personally think that gratitude is so important um, and often missed um, because we're often so involved in like achieving more, doing more. Um, so we always want more. I feel like we live in a culture where um, we always need more things, whether it's more materials um, or things like that. I feel like we are always striving for to do more and to have more in our lives when sometimes what we have already um, should be, we should be grateful for is how I personally see things. Um, so the back of the card um, also reads, um, when people first do this practice, they often think that they will have trouble making a list of at least five things they are grateful for. However, they are surprised to find out that when they start, the list often grows longer. It is, af it is as if a long neglected faucet were turned on and the flow doesn't shut off. During the day, you may find yourself taking mental notes of things to add to the list. This encourages a lovely transformation into the mindset of ongoing gratitude. People who practice gratitude at the end of the day regularly find that they become able to see the upside of almost every event in their lives. So I truly do believe in this because I am someone who practices gratitude on a daily basis and I've been doing so for almost a year now um, plus and that's something that I am super grateful for. You know, I write down all the simple things um, that I'm grateful for, like for this morning, um, as an example, you know, I'm grateful for that. I was able to eat eggs for breakfast because I'm sure there's others out there who are not able to do that um, and who are, who are hungry and do not have a proper meal. So I am grateful for all the simple things in my life. Um, as I grow older, the more I realize that I have to stay grounded, I have to stay simple. And sometimes the simple things honestly brings me the most joy. It doesn't have to be like a grand gesture or anything like that. Um, just something simple and nice um, is, always, is already a blessing to me. So I think it's important whether you reflect on it at the end of the day or during the day, I think whenever you feel grateful for something, um, you should always, you know, just remind yourself, you know, how thankful you are and how grateful you are and to really analyze like what simple things in your life bring you happiness. Like, what is that? Right? Like whether it's like, you know, a sweater, um, like I mentioned last week, my pink sweater makes me really happy. Like I'm grateful that I was able to purchase that sweater. Right. And, and have, you know, the money to, to purchase that. Right. Because I think that's, uh, we often forget about the simple things in life. And I think it's important to bring ourselves back and really analyze what we are thankful for on a daily basis and, and never to take things for granted either. Um, there's a lot of things where you might take for granted um, and you know I think it's important to be present in the moment and just to be grateful um, for all that you have uh, in your lives currently. So I encourage you guys to take the time to reflect on what simple things make you grateful and why do they make you grateful and do you say thank you enough and I think those are the three questions I constantly ask myself. Um, so I encourage you guys um, to do the same if you haven't been doing it already. But if you are, kudos to you. You should be proud of yourself um, for doing that. Um, and as a bonus, actually, I actually decided to do two mindfulness cards this week um, just because I wanted to um, for fun. Um, so my second card is loving kindness for the body. Sorry, here's the card up close. Um, so just to read the card for you, 
Um, for one week, practice loving kindness toward the body. Spend at least five or 10 minutes a day with this practice. On each in-breath, be aware of fresh oxygen and vital energy entering your body. On each out-breath, send this energy throughout your body along with the silent words. May you be free from discomfort. May you be at ease. May you be healthy. Um, so I haven't spent too much time like feeling and into my body um, as much um, because I know that um, I've been doing more body scans, I would say, you know, how I'm feeling from head to toe um, sort of thing, but I never really like sit still enough to like feel my body and how it's feeling, but it is something that I am working on. Um, I think it's important to listen to your body because your body tells you when you're tired. Like for example, last week, um, I had a really busy week and I normally wake up really early on Thursday mornings to do meditation, but I decided to listen to my body and say, you know what, I need that extra 30 minutes, one hour of sleep. So I decided not to do my meditation that morning uh, because I listened to my body and my body was telling me, Michelle, you are tired, you need that sleep. So instead of pushing yourself and pushing yourself to wake up earlier, you should get that extra 30 minutes of rest. And I'm glad that I listened to my body on that. Um, secondly, I've also been trying to revamp my diet um, to eat healthier. Um, because I, for those of you who know me, I'm generally not the most healthiest person when it comes to sugar and carbs, um, but I am working hard um, to improve that. Sorry, I'm touching my nose because my nose is a little bit itchy. Um, so here you go, an example of me listening to my body. Um, even though I might look awkward that I'm touching my nose right now on camera, I decided to do so because I'm listening to my body and my body's telling me, Michelle, there's a piece of hair there and it's causing you to itch, so just move that hair away. Um, so that's why I did that. Um, sometimes I think your body tells you more um, than you think it does. So I think it's important to always take that time to listen to your body um, as your body knows best. And even when it comes to changing your diet, for example, like I mentioned, I'm trying to cut down on my sugar and carbs. You know, you don't have to be like cold turkey and cut everything out at once. You know, you can take it baby steps at a time like I am. You know, some of my favorite drinks include um, ice cap. I used to drink a lot of ice caps, but slowly I've been, I fully cut it out now from my diet, um, which is great. So I think sometimes you just have to listen to your body and, and what works. So I encourage you guys um, to do uh, practice gratitude uh, this week and to listen to your body and see what it's telling you. And that can change, right, from week to week um, as well. So always just be mindful um, of the things that you're grateful for and how your body's feeling and you can always adjust accordingly. Um, the great thing about life is nothing is set in stone. You know, we are flexible human beings and we continue, we can continue to change as much as we want to. So I think that's my uh, tip of the tips, I guess, of the week. I hope that you found that to be helpful and I hope to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye.